So here we're going to work out the nth term of the quadratic sequence. The first thing we need to do when we have a quadratic sequence is work out the first difference. The row of your first difference numbers will always be different. Then we have to work out the second difference. Because a quadratic nth term always looks a bit like this, a n squared plus b n plus c, we're looking to find out what are a, b and c as numbers. So the first thing you're going to do is look at your second difference. In this case it's 2. You're always going to equate that to 2a. Because that's an equation I can now solve that so a is 1. I can jump up the first difference on the left should always equal to 3a plus b. Because we already know that a is 1, we can substitute that in and work out what b is. In this case, b is minus 3. Then we jump up again, where a plus b plus c will always equal the first term, so c is minus 7. The last thing we're going to do is write out a, b and c in this format here, which gives us 1n squared, or just n squared, minus 3n minus 7. That's the nth term of the sequence. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out the GCSE Maths Pro YouTube channel where I have full videos going into more detail.